Hey, hey, Megan the Trainer here for Megan's Movement Minute here at Fitness Lying Down. Today, I'm going to be talking about the bent over row, so that movement that I was just demonstrating. Bent over row is one of my actual favorite movements that we do, um, specifically the progression shucking rows. So this is a progression for our hinges as well as for our pulling movements um, because you have to maintain that hinge while you row the bag up. So obviously when we use the ultimate sandbag, we want to rip those handles apart. So why do we do that? That's again going to kind of fire up our lats, which is going to give us some spinal stability and some core stability as well. So by pulling those handles apart, I need to make sure that my elbows are straight. So I'm not pulling them apart with my arms, but I'm pulling it apart with my lats. And now from here, I'm gonna keep my trunk absolutely still. So the only thing that moves are my arms. And I just slide the bag right up my shins. Again, pulling those handles apart as I go up and as I go down. So sometimes what I have seen in my experience is that sometimes people will do a little bob and they'll pull their body down or they'll kind of halfway deadlift and row at the same time. So again, your body stays absolutely still. You need to rock that hinge so that way your body can focus on the row. So definitely before you attempt the bent over row, make sure that your hinges are rock solid, that you feel comfortable pulling yourself back into that position since you're holding that for the entirety of your reps. As you pull yourself into this position, if you have a little twinge in the low back or in the hips or anything, what can you do to help that? Do you just skip doing bent over rows altogether? No, you can grab yourself a handy dandy mini band. So what is this mini band going to do? It's gonna go around the tops of my feet which is gonna help me plug my feet into the floor. So not only are we really gripping with our hands onto the ultimate sandbag handles, but I also really need to grip with my feet. Sometimes this is something that our brain just kind of shuts off in doing, but we always need to be mindful of it, especially when we're in our hinge position. So this will help, again, plug my feet in, kind of fire up some extra muscles to stabilize my core, to make my bent over row that much more successful. So now that you know better, let's go out and do better so we can all be better.